All right, as most, as most of you already know, I do have a full RCI skids on the Bronco, aluminum skids on the Bronco uh, from the front to the transfer case. So uh, as soon as I was able to, I got their fuel skid as well. It's also aluminum as well, saved a little bit of weight. So uh, the factory fuel tank skid is actually pretty good. So this is probably not something most of you guys would want to do. It's probably something more for people who just want to have that little extra weight loss. All right, so we have the uh, the very back part of. So it does have us go ahead and mount these here uh, using the bolt or X bolt, sorry, uh, bolt as well as a washer, lock washer, and a nut. We'll go ahead and put these on loosely. I mean, I've got them like finger tight, but. We'll be able to adjust them later if needed. So you got this side, and this side here, which is the taller bracket. You know, and the way the instructions describe it is that you would lower this up. Now, first, you're going to use these ratchets here. I have some ratchets at uh, Arbor Frank. You're going to put those ratchets in between the factory skid plate and the fuel tank because, and like the Forerunner, the Bronco doesn't have straps holding it up between the skid plate and the fuel tank. So the fuel tank is what's holding the tank up, is my understanding watching uh, JCR do theirs as well. I kind of got the same impression. So, you're going to put these ratchets up, snug up against the fuel tank, to hold it up, preferably on a low uh, low tank of gas. You want that thing to be as light as possible in case you do have any uh, issues. You also want to have a jacket standby just in case you need it. But anyway, so this thing comes with these uh, bolt pairs that you just saw put these on. Also comes with these big bad boys here. Now these are used to mount into the Bronco's frame uh, or about directly to the Bronco. So you put these bolts up on top of this, and up on top of this, into the Bronco itself with those washers. And it comes with other ones here. And then the front piece, which overlaps <laughs> this once it's sitting in, you see these holes back here and over here. Well, down here at the bottom, you'll see these uh, bolts, squares. So those directly line up on the other side of this. And you put those bolts through there and tighten them up once you get it on the car. I won't do it before we get to the car. We put it there. So anyway, I want to kind of explain that to you guys uh, before we get down and get under the truck. It's not always easy to film under the truck. So I figured I'd explain it to you now. The way you get to get right, out of here. So here we are up under the lift, up under the truck. So like JC Yard mentioned, that little hole right there across the room. we got the strap up here at the front. Got this other one back here in the back. I did just like the JCR video, even though I'm using RCI. As you can see, we did move some of the bolts, just like I said. Got this transmission jack to help support it. Now on the other side here, you can see that that support on the frame, keep that thing from falling. The front, and then over here in the rear, same thing. Keep that gas tank supported so that way we can lower the skid plate without dropping the gas tank on the floor. All right, so here we are, no skid plate. In case anybody wonders what the factory fuel tank looks like. Without a skid plate on it. As you can see, there's a place for straps here, so I don't know why they don't put those in from the factory. Uh, knowing that damn good and well people upgrade shit. So there's another spot here you can put a strap from the factory. So Ford, if you listen to this, and I'm sure other people told you as well, uh, please put factory straps on these. So we don't have to worry about shit dropping. Now you can see my rock light. Put it to the side for the minute. And over here, here is the factory skid plate for the fuel tank in all of its glory. It's a heavy thing, too. All right, so we got all this done. So look here, we got the RCI aluminum skid, skid plates. So we are RCI all the way front to back. Uh, aluminum everywhere except for the A-arms, which you guys know. This is relatively pretty easy, simple install. It's just a little time-consuming because of all the stuff you have to do. But otherwise, yes, it's a really good uh, install, so... You know, as you can see, it covers the entire fuel skid plate. 